This episode is brought to you by the Financial Services School, specializing in educating insurance professionals. Today, we're focusing on some general exclusions that are extremely common in home and business property damage policies, business interruption policies, contract works, and liability policies. And these exclusions are likely to consist of things such as physical loss, destruction, or damage occasioned by or happening through vermin, rust, corrosion, pollution, wear and tear, gradual deterioration, faulty workmanship or faulty materials, errors in design, the list goes on and on. And to be fair, you can see why the insurers would want to exclude many of these. Now looking at wear and tear, or more specifically, gradual deterioration, insurers would be on the hook for the replacement of items that have simply been poorly treated or at the end of their life. And this is not what insurance is there for. The issue arises, however, when the insurer does not provide cover for the resultant damage that follows on from one of these exclusions. Let me explain. Let's say a rat chews through a wire in your roof and that chewed wire causes a fire burning down your house or office. The general exclusion for vermin and the fact that the loss occasioned by a rat chewing the wire would mean that you would not have any cover. Looking at some of the other common exclusions, it becomes hard to see any way you'd ever be able to make a claim. Let's face it, buildings don't just spontaneously combust. There's always got to be some sort of intervening factor. Now, notwithstanding a deliberate act, I said this is how we do it. Whether it be a faulty electrical item, faulty workmanship, or the deterioration of some component, therefore, insurers wrote in a write back for the resultant damage following a loss occasioned by or happening through one of these excluded perils. So going back to our rat example, the wire that was chewed would not be covered due to the exclusion. However, the resultant fire and the damage caused by it would be. A faulty clock radio causes a fire, you guessed it, the clock would not be covered, however the fire damage would be. As you can see, the write back is extremely important, and without it, the policy is going to provide very little cover. Unfortunately, however, as policies have evolved over the years, this write back has, on occasion, not made it into the final policy. Only this week I had several calls around losses that have been declined due to a lack of the resultant damage right back. I urge you to read your policy or speak to an insurance professional. You definitely don't want to find out that your policy does not have this right back the hard way. Click here for another video we did. Give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Comment with more stuff you want to know about. And for more demystified insurance jargon, click that subscribe button.